Hi guys, welcome to the video number 327. My name is Ajay and I'm going to today uh, talk about that how you can work with the spin button uh, using the image, images in the user form. And this uh, question was put up uh, by Anya, I want to change the multiple numbers dates in a cell in a user form in Excel, a spin button, how can it be possible? So I'm going to tell you about, uh, about the spin button at the same time also like to know about you know with an example that how the spin button actually where exactly it is used so this is a comment he has written uh, but unfortunately i didn't get much of the detail from you so i'm really not sure what you're trying to do here do you have written here multiple data number still i would like to answer you in my way and let me know guy uh, arena in case need further clarification on that right but i'll try to make it um simpler i'll try to make it uh, very informative for all my people out there who are watching this video for, if you're watching the channel for the first time, then I want to tell you uh, we have also uh, one of the playlist Excel VB user form. You can go there and you can find 11 videos. I've talked about uh, user forms, you know, from the very scratch. I have talked about the different different controls like combo box, list box, option buttons, checkbox, and labels, and then text box. You know, so this is the another video, and in this video we're going to talk about the spin button, and also I'm going to use the images here, right? So this is all the channel. Uh, channel has all these videos on excel excel vba access and access vba welcome to the channel guys right so going to do now um let me go to the this excel uh, sheet and um, i'm going to insert uh you know, form go to the visual basic and insert the form use the form As usual you know this is how we do it now in the the form you have this uh, option here called the image and the, the which we will be uh, to insert a little later but this is the spin button so when you click on the spin button how you can create the spin button you can also move it in this direction that's all up to you i'm going to keep it like this this is my spin button and uh, what i uh, i will do is if you go to the uh, you know the property window of the spin button which is this just in case if you don't get it just select that and then press f4 or maybe just go to the property window when you go to the property window uh, here you will have these options called the max and the min and you know left and so many things uh, maybe you can give it a color and that, that's all up to you. I'll just keep it like this. Uh, so the max I want to create here is, uh, let's say, only three, right? Because I have only three images. So I just want to create it the max three. When you run this, see what will uh, what is going to happen. Now, when I'm going to run this user form, uh, you click here and nothing will happen, obviously, because you have to program the spin button, right? So now what I will do, I will right click here and I go to the view code. So whenever this spin button changes, so I would like to the value of the spin button in the a1 cell so this is how you guys write a me dot spin button that's my spin button name spin button, spin button one dot value right? now i'm using the me just in case if you don't know me refers to this user form one you can also write user form one dot spin button dot value that's a shortcut and me refers to actually your current user form wherein you are writing this code let's go ahead and uh, let me run this again and if i click here we'll see that I'm trying to change the values and this is how it is incrementing and the moment it reaches to three it is not moving forward because we have given the, the max value as three if i just click back here i'm going to get my values again zero one two three four this way so uh that's that's how you uh, actually can program the you know, this entire uh, the spin button now the important point point is that how you're gonna link it with the uh image right because spin button uh obviously uh using these one two three you can program the things you can do a lot of things but how to do that so we're gonna have a one example of it so let me just close this and uh, i click here here again and uh, i want to sh um, see here uh, the minimum value also we can keep it one just to avoid the error right that's it okay guys uh, we need we, we are going to insert this image you can see here the image just in case if you don't get this toolbox don't worry just go to the view and click on the toolbox you have the toolbox on Want to insert the image box over here like this this is my image box here right when i click here i want that you know the moment i click here to get here first image and then second image and then third image do that what you need to do is you need to link this image box with this uh, the button right? for that there is a trick actually because you you saw that when when i click here the number increases from one two and three so i've got here three images from the Google, you know, they are the free images. So I have named them 1.jpg, 2.jpg, and 3.jpg. Obviously, their name were different, but I have actually programmed them to, I mean, programmed them. I got them, you know, I, I given this naming convention 1, 2, and 3. Make sure your extension should be same. If it is a PNG, 
every image has to be a yeah uh, you know has to be png otherwise i mean whatever you prefer i'm actually going to use this pg what we need to do is we need to load these pictures on uh, this, this button so i just click back here and now what i want to do is whenever you actually click on that button so what should happen in the background in the background background we should be able to see the first image so uh, we have this option so the image uh, this is my image one and in the image one i'm going to actually uh, load the picture and this is what we're going to write equals to load picture and then I start the bracket now you've got to give the name of the file guys right so obviously uh, we're going to uh, we're going to give the file path name so I just go here and I right click I go to the property see the path and the file both I go to the security and I'm just going to copy it you can see here this is my desktop path guys and uh, go to the B and I'm gonna click on that right the point is this is a static thing because you see that every time this two image would come you got to automate it so for example the moment I run this see that uh, this is the picture which I'm getting so there's no picture actually moving I don't see the other pictures right what is the reason because you have given here the program of you know your this actually uh, the VBA it always picks the second image you know that as per the spin button whenever you click here it is going to change so we can link this a1 with this value this value okay uh, or maybe you can directly write here me dot spin button dot value as well that's all up to you but I'm going to keep it simple uh, I'm just going to catenate it with the range a1 so that's what I'm going to write here a1 dot value and I'm going to again concatenate it with the dot jpg this is how it is going to look like okay now uh, let's go to the insert and module and uh, let me create here show my form a macro and we will write here the you know, the user form name user which is user form one dot uh, dot show okay and uh, we're going to create the link uh, let, let me just increase the size of this um, maybe if you, if you just have a difficulty in doing this this is your um, macro created let's go to the insert and let's create a button over here a small button um, create the button here just a second I, I don't know what is happening I mean let me click back here and uh, just have a button over here and I'm going to click here assign macro and this will show me the show my form the moment I I'm gonna click on this to my form you know uh, so variable not defined I think I forgot to actually write the user form name which is user form one and I beg your pardon let me just click back here there we go so I'm going to click here and you see that the first picture comes the second picture actually and then valid picture all right so we, we're getting the error here um, so the error is um, we have to see so range a1 dot value is equals to 3 and uh, so invalid picture well um, that means that um, you don't have this um, T uh, jpg you know uh, which is a concern let me just go back and check so we have actually three uh, dot jpg and we have in fact one dot jpg as well so if I just go ahead and uh, here, but uh, before I click here, I want to just make it empty. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now I'm gonna click here. That's, that's coming here too. If I click back here, that's coming one. Perfect. This is actually changing. The pictures are changing. You can see here. We click click here again and uh, invalid picture. So I think uh, the picture has some issues because uh, when I actually got it from the net, you know, I changed actually the extension of this. So maybe we can do one thing. Uh, let me just go ahead and copy this original 2.jpg and uh, let me just rename it as 3.jpg, right? So this is what I need to do. And uh, now one thing more I want to do here is the moment the user form gets initialized, very important. I want to show that, I want to make sure that the A1 value should be empty. It should not have anything so we're going to make it empty so guys user form uh, initialize means that you have to change it from here you have these are the events actually initialization means that when the first time it's getting 
put it in your memory before you even can't see it okay for example let me tell you uh, now see what will happen uh, let me put the break code over here and we don't need this let me just uh, remove this okay so now uh, if i go back here click here you see the first time the form is going to show up before you are able to see that form you know now right now i can show you there's no form coming right but you can see that if i just minimize this there's no form still coming right so first automatically when the user form is going to show up this user form dot initialize event will trigger it will not wait for you right? so initialize means that at the time before it pops up on your screen what do you want to do so i want to ensure that this a1 value should be empty so this is what is going to happen look at this guys even now you can't see that form the moment it you know uh, completes this end of the form will come so that's called the initialized event right so you can do whatever you want to do now the moment i'm going to click here um, just click here so let's quickly uh, run this and you have the first picture this is the third picture you have the second picture and then you have the first picture now it is working perfect right first you have the same picture so you you won't be able to see here or when i'm clicking here but actually it's taking me to the all the pictures right so it's one and then it's two and then it's three right so i can also uh, improve my this uh, basically the frame my image i can reduce it you can google it and you can find that you know how to in in increase the height and the width of the image the that depends right that's not really important for me I just wanted to tell you that how you can actually use the uh, these uh, basically the spin buttons so uh, let's just go ahead and click back here now I want to remove the break code, so let me remove the break code and let me just reset the code and we can now run it again. All right, there we go. You see the form comes and I click here, the first image comes. Uh, this is the second image, it's running a little fast, but this is how you can do that. One, two, three. After three, there is nothing. So you can add 10 pictures, you can set up there, you know, on, in, in that property window, the top has to be uh, 10 or 15 or whatever, right? So in this way, you can actually scroll using these images so this is the use of the you know the spin button or one of the actually uses the spin button i hope uh, you understood this and uh, in this way i mean you can also make the dashboard and you can get the values also changed this is a very important part when you link your spin buttons with that click so uh, that's it guys uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed this video if, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel be a part of this channel and have an awesome learning over here and I will wait for your comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.